to the fields of Cambridgeshire and my poor little van getting towed away on day two of Detectorville. What a disaster. An absolute disaster. I've got no idea what this is going to cost me to get it 450 miles back to Perthshire and then to get it repaired. Time will tell. Well, there she goes. The journey continues, or begins. Hopefully it'll be back in Scotland sometime on Monday and hopefully it's not going to cost me an absolute bloody fortune. Welcome back to the fields of Cambridgeshire. Detectiveville Day 2. And uh, I've lost most of the day, half the day, organising my... Uh, my van to get uplifted, unfortunately. We've got Marty straight ahead of us there, about 20 metres out. We've got Pete underway with the XP Deus 2. And we've got me. So it's day two of Detectiveville. The boys have already been out for the morning. We've refuelled. My van, as you'll have seen, has been picked up. God knows how much that's going to cost me. And uh, God knows how I'm going to, well, Plenty of problems, but I'm sure I'll find a solution eventually. Uh, so the boys were out earlier, didn't get any luck, just bits and pieces, odds and sods. And um, we're back out for the remaining four or five hours in the afternoon. So we'll give it to five, six o'clock at night, depending on how we get on. There's been a number of coins, hammered Roman, a few denarii, some Roman fourth century. And also there has been a... A gold, a beautiful gold stator, a full gold stator with a galloping horse has been found fairly recently. So there's stuff out there. It's just a case of uh, seeing how we get on. And thankfully, the ground has dried out a little bit. I uh, got my gold coin, my quarter gold noble is Edward III. It's not Edward I, it's Edward III. So it's from the 17, uh, 1370s. Right, let's see how we get on. Well, field one produced virtually nothing. A um, couple of couple of bits of aluminium, aluminium, and uh, a few scraps of lead. Otherwise, pretty quiet. It's probably one of the most heavily detected fields, I would say. Here, Marty down on his knees. We decided to come into the grassy edge because we've got this old uh, sort of ditch here with water in it. I uh, got the gold coin just on the brow of that hill, off to the right hand side. So I thought, well, why not? give it a bash and uh, got a shotgun cap always sound pretty good unfortunately but ultimately junk we've been into field one field three and now this is field number five so just over the hill there's number six and seven which uh, produced my gold hammered and six but also a number of roman and uh, medieval coins came off six and seven. So there's a bit of a ridge going along here that seems to join in to field six. So I don't see why there shouldn't be some nice finds to be had in here. All quiet so far, just bits of junk, bits of lead, shotgun caps. Unfortunately, nothing particularly good. I'm still on program three, the deep HC. And uh, yeah, let's keep going, see if there's anything to be had. We've still got four hours or so to go. Well, Marty says he's got a hammered. So let's go and have a wee look. Says it's a quarter that he's got. Quite a lot of footprints in this field, so it's certainly been pretty well done, but the XP Gold Max is always good at sniffing out some good stuff. It is indeed a little quarter hammered coin. For Marty, it looks like it's maybe a short cross. Oh no, it's not. It's a long cross. Take that back. So you can see the three dots, the three pellets. It's probably going to be Edward, I would think. Or is it a short cross? Can't make my mind up whether or not they're going all the way to the edge or not. It almost looks like a short cross on that side, like a a Henry, a John or a Richard, which you put it sometime in what the early 11, 1100s, middle of the 1100s, but 
if it's an Edward it's going to be probably 1250 to 1350 give or take 1270 to 1370 something like that good sign though well done Marty the weird thing about uh, metal detecting in England or this far south in England is the field's littered with uh, flint and flint nodules that have broken up and come up from deeper down with a plough and because we're from Scotland they keep catching your eye because normally flint is pretty rare but down here is everywhere absolutely everywhere but it's still still keeping an eye out for any signs of a little work tool a lovely crisp sound 59 i thought to myself Ooh, that could be a hammered it's got that lovely tone to it and then that popped out and i thought you beauty and then i turned it over and it's a bloody button it's a pewtery sort of yeah pewter tombacky type button it's got even got the the sort of tone that you expect or the the color that you expect from a hammered coin what a nightmare Date wise, it's probably going to be Georgian. So you're talking 1714 George the First through to 1820 George the Third. Damn, 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 damn. Oh well, got to keep on hunting. But if someone's missing something that size, just two or three inches under the surface, there's going to be more. What a beautiful view it is from up here, right up in the top corner of field number five, way over in the distance. You can see the campsite, and uh, it's really, really beautiful day. It's probably in the low twenties, which is 70, 75 Fahrenheit, give or take, for all our American and other nationality watchers who work in Fahrenheit. It's really, really beautiful. It's uh, it's a lot like Scotland, but uh, just not quite as good. But I may be biased. So we have got right here, we've got a clawed shot. Now, it's in there somewhere. So let's break her in half. Not in there. Oh, what is that? That looks pretty green to me. Is it a coin or a button? Could be a coin. Oh, it's a button, I think. It looks gilded on the back. I think. Oh, maybe not. Is it? It's not a bottle top, is it? Nope, it's a button. It's got a dot in the centre. Right, let me give it a clean off and get back to you in case it's some ancient Saxon treasure. I think we're going to have to go for a button. Can't see any signs of Saxon engraving on it, but you can see it's heavily silvered or tinned on the surface. And date wise, I'm going to guess it's probably 17, possibly 1800s. So again, Georgian kind of period. Oh well. Not a lot more doing for me. I've scouted around this top corner of the field because it doesn't seem to have very many, if any, footprints in it. So it doesn't look like it's really been covered, but other than some tin cans and aluminium, not much doing. The boys, though, down there, Pete and Marty, they never seem to be off their knees. So they're either digging a lot of something good or a lot of junk, but they're certainly sticking around that collection of houses and barn down there which does look like quite an old building so I don't know maybe I'll head down that way see if they're getting any goodies I've got an ear blower here um, what I thought was Pete and Marty I was heading in that direction it's not actually Pete and Marty it's two other people so I don't know where the hell they've gone anyway Pretty solid 88.89, definitely sounds good, maybe a coin, or a button. Just in the top 3 or 4 inches, and I think we might have a coin, because I saw something circular fall out just there. And I think we've got a coin. George, George the Sixth, the late Queen's father. Looks like a big penny. Have we got a date? 
1930, maybe two or seven, no, seven. 1937, one penny. So George the Sixth, the King's Speech, the man with the uh, the stutter, aided by Lionel Lokes, the speech therapist, if you've seen the film. But there we go, a coin, good. Well, it's better than nothing, isn't it? And right next to that coin, we've got another signal. Same again, 88, 87. And we've got another coin. We've got a little spill. Is it another George the Sixth? It is. It's another George the Sixth. What date's this one? Oh, I've dropped it. There it is. 1947. Ten years later. Ten years later, and another penny of George the Sixth. Oh, there we go. Maybe a wee pocket spill. I'll have a wee look around, see if there's any more. An ear-blowing 84. Unfortunately, it's another canvas ring. Dope. No more George the Sixes in this area. That, I thought, was going to be another coin, but it's a little aluminium or stainless steel rivet. Oh, well. Well, folks, that is us. Detectiveville 2022 is complete. Everything packed away, including the van, which is on a on a 450 mile trip back to Perthshire in Scotland. Uh, at the moment, it's uh, just south of Leeds because it's got a tracker on it. This is Marty's car, jam packed. Thank God he was here; otherwise, we would have had a disaster. But Pete's giving the thumbs up. So, so we made it. We're uh, we're heading off. We'll wait and see what disaster unfolds with the van. But I'm happy that we all got something. Marty got one and a quarter hammers. Pete got one hammered. I got two plus the gold. And uh, Marty got fifty pence in spendable, so that can go towards the petrol as well. Brilliant. Thanks for watching and uh, see you on the next video.